Hey everybody, coming to you today with another Bible review. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at a reader set. This is new, uh, just came out. Uh, these were available for pre-order back a couple weeks ago, I believe. But this is the Christian Standard Bible 5 volume reader set. And you can see um, this is the hardback sets, cloth over board. Uh, just got these in the mail just a little while ago, but you can see here that it's the Pentateuch. Uh, the historical books, poetry, prophets, and the New Testament. Now, on the outside, you have a little blocks giving you the number one, two, three, four, and five. And then down here at the bottom, it says Holman, up the top, Christian Standard Bible. Now, it comes in a nice little uh, slipcase box. As you can see here on the outside, it says CSB Reader's Bible, uh, five-volume collection. And then it has uh, the ISBN number down here on the bottom. I can't uh, really get to that in the video, but I'm uh, going to do a review on these. And I've also got some other readers' volume uh, volumes that we'll do a comparison on as well. I have the ESV six-volume set and as well as the NIV four-volume set. So I'm going to take one of these out. And then I'm just going to set these aside because all the... All the other ones are going to be identical to this one. And when you pull it out, you can see that it's a nice book size. Um, you'll see here at the bottom that it does have one mark uh, being the first uh, of the five volume set. Um, nothing on the back. It does come with one ribbon. We'll pull this one here out. I was looking at the New Testament set earlier. So let's open it up. You can see that it does have a paste down liner. A nice little design on that as well. <clears throat> Christian Standard Bible, Reader's Bible, five volume collection, the Christian Standard Bible uh, logo here at the bottom, as well as your publisher's page, ISBN number, cloth over board, printed in China, 2019, um, five volume set. And so you'll see here that it says the same thing, volume one, the Pentateuch, and gives you an introduction here of the Christian Standard Bible, the textual basis, the history, uh, translation philosophy. Now, I like the Christian Standard Bible. Uh, it's kind of what they call the dynamic equivalence, which is in between the literal and the thought for thought, and it's very readable. So I was excited when this reader set came about. Now, here's your table of context. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and then straight into Genesis. Now you'll see here that it is in a paragraph format, although there's no verse numbers and no chapters uh, in, in this reader's volume. You'll do see here at the bottom uh, that it does have Genesis chapter 1. Um, the, the beginning here does have a, a large blue eye in the end. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as we flip through, you'll see here that it's very much uh, identical. Now, I'm, I'm guessing uh, the beginning of the chapter might be the breaks here, where you see the T's, and the G, the big, the big parts here. This is probably the beginning of the chapters. I may be wrong. Um, but the paper on this is really nice, and it's line matched as well. You can kind of see some very faint ghosting in the back right here in between the spaces but it is line matched so it makes it very easy to read now as you get through of course you'll see this is all uh, very much readable as far as that goes now the font on this is looks to me like it's almost probably uh, an 11 or a 12. i'm pretty sure it was a 12 point font uh, in the information page um, but just flipping through it here, you can see that it is very open. And then here, too, you're going to find breaks in the books. Here's Deuteronomy in the back. Now, I want to take just a second and look. Of course, here in the back, there's a few uh, blank pages as well, if you want to take notes or whatever. But I do want to look at uh, the, of the other ones uh, in the poetry and as well as the New Testament. Like I said, it does have one ribbon to match, uh, some matching headbands and tailbands. And the feel of this is very smooth. I don't know 
uh, what to compare it to, but I do I do like the feel of it. It's got some texture to it, uh, but it's a really nice reader. Now, let me set that aside. Let me pull out one of the poetries. I wanted to see if there was maybe a little bit different layout, but there's kind of, sort of, maybe not so much. I see that there is some headings in the Psalms um, when you flip through it. This is Psalm 92, 93, 94... Let's see, where's Psalm, here's Psalm 119, okay, so it's, it does have your little headings here uh, for the alphabet in Psalms 119, but you can see here uh, from this that the ghosting on this is really, really not bad at all, um, very, very faint, this is excellent paper that they've used in this, here's Song of Solomon and the back. And like I said, these are all going to be the same. They're very, uh, very readable. Now, one of the things that I did want to point out is here in the New Testament, you'll see that Old Testament quotes are in bold print, which I thought was nice. And it is a black letter text. There's no red letters in the New Testament. So a really nice reader. It is Smith's song, so there's no worry about it. Uh, coming apart on you. It's not a, a glued binding. You can see the in in the uh, gutter, what we call right here, the gutter, that you can see the actual Smithsonian parts in it. But this is going to be a really nice uh, reader set. Uh, you know, you, you when you look at a reader, you want to make sure some people prefer uh, verse and chapters numbers, some don't. This one does not have it. But a very nice little set. Now, just real quick, because I do have some other readers. Let me slip these back in here. I want to pull out. This is one of the uh, ESV uh, readers. It's a, it's a six volume set. And one thing that I noticed, and this is the one that has the chapter and verse numbers. Now, let me show you real quick the difference in these. This CSB has much better paper than this ESV. Uh, the ghosting on the CSB is not nearly as bad as you you can see right here at the bottom. I want to make sure that I'm getting this shot. Let me stand up here. Yeah, you can see uh, some faint ghosting in the ESV right here. And so the paper in this CSV is a lot, lot better. Now the ESV uh, reading set is smaller. The footprint on it is smaller. You can see it's about an inch shorter and uh, it's a lot thinner uh, than the CSB but I definitely like the way the ESV or I'm sorry the CSB feels in your hand. Now that is an ESV and then here is your NIV set. So you can see the NIV Sally Scripture and the paper, let's look at the paper between these two. Let's see, get it over here. So you can see this is a white paper, this is a cream colored paper. Uh, the ESV also had a kind of a creamish paper, not really. But uh, I will say that the ghosting on these two are about the same. Uh, the NIV is very, very thick paper. Uh, the CSB is very thick paper. You'll see that we're in Proverbs right here. Here's Job. Uh, the font on these two look about the same as far as size. And the footprint is about the same. The only difference is uh, this is a cream paper, which I think is easier on the eyes. And this uh, NIV is more of a white has a bluish tint to it. Um, but out of the three, and of course here's the footprint, the footprint's about the same on these two, which is about what I like in a reader. But honestly, out of the three, I think the CSB wins. I've got, uh, here's the ESV again, and you can see really right here, you can see a lot of ghosting here compared to this one. Uh, not 
not nearly as much. The font's about the same size, like I said, as the other one. Uh, the ESV sits a little smaller as far as the footprint goes, the size of the Bible. But as far as paper goes, I think the CSB wins out of the two sets. Um, definitely worth your time. Definitely, if you, if you use the CSB translation, uh, definitely worth picking up one of these. Uh, like I said, the, the ghosting on these is very minimal. And I think it's just as good, if not better, than the NIV set. So super excited about these. I uh, just wanted to do a review on them and show you these. Like I said, these are brand new, hot off the press. Uh, you can pick these up at christianbook.com, Amazon. Uh, you can go to your Lifeway uh, store if there's still one in your area that's open and probably get one. You can go to lifeway.com and get one. These are published by B&H Publishers. And um, I think they run somewhere about a hundred dollars, maybe uh, maybe more. I can't remember as far as price. I know they may be about a hundred and thirty dollars. Uh, but anyways, you can get online and check those out, and uh, just type in CSB five volume reader set, and you'll be able to find them. But I uh, just wanted to show you these and kind of give you a comparison between the, the other reader sets that I had. And I hope you've enjoyed this review, and we will see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.